In this tutorial, you will learn all the ways that you can make your React and Material UI project responsive based on different SQL sizes and breakpoints. You can find the link to this project in the description below. Also, if your Material UI project is ready, you can check the timeline below and head over to the chapter that you want. This is a very simple React and Next.js project. As you can see here, we have nothing special. We have a hello world in the center of the screen and also a component that shows the current screen size of our screen for you to see better. We are using the latest version of Next and also React here. Our public folder is empty. In our app, we have the component that I just told you that calculates the current width of a screen. There's nothing special for you if you want to follow along. You don't have to do this. Our global.css file is empty. We're using Tailwind CSS here. This is our layout. I just use a dark background and center the components in this screen. This is our page.tsx file and it is the entry to our application here. We are going to use the latest version of Material UI here, the version 5, and all the links are provided in the description below. Copy all these commands and then open your editor's terminal from here and paste the commands that you just copied. And that's it. For Material UI to work in Next.js project, according to the documentations, you must do a few steps for it to perform better. We head to this page, we scroll down a little bit. Here, if you want to use the Material UI without a custom theme, you can follow this. We can do this, or if you want to use custom theme as we want to do in this tutorial, we must do a little bit of configuring. We copy this code till here above the layout.js file we copy it we go to our project and then we need to create a simple file called theme registry.tsx then we copy the code that we just copied here that's it this is the address of our custom theme that we are gonna provide later there's no need for this react here and we need to import it from React and because we are using TypeScript, we need to provide the type of props, but for simplicity, I just put any here. We simply copy these, then we head to our layout.tsx file here, we paste the code here, we delete this, then we just import it. But this won't work because we didn't provide our theme here. We need to create a theme here and I just create a folder called theme and I just create a theme.ts here. We create the theme like this. Const theme is equal to create theme that we just imported from Material UI. Then inside that we provide an object. For example, I want to 20 pixel like this typography. And we put font size 20 here. If you want to customize, for example, your primary color, you can do like this palette and inside that you put primary and inside that, for example, we want to change our primary color into red. Like this, but I don't want to do that. That's it. We just need to get to our theme.register file here and remove this. We need to go down a little bit and in here, we need to, uh, sorry, I just need to export this theme here like this. Then we head to our theme.user file here and import it like this. To test that if our application is working, I remove the hello world here like this. I create a simple div here. And for test, I just import a simple button material UI here. It takes off button one here. As you can see, the theme is working. And, and to show you, I increase the default font size, for example, to 40. And you can see the font just got bigger, but I set it to 16 as default. And that's it. This is our default setup for Material UI in React, especially in Next.js project. But how we can make this button responsive based on different screen sizes and breakpoints? 
as you can see here, the MUI library provides a set of default breakpoints here, but you might also want to add a few more breakpoints here, or you may want to change their values here. But how to do that? To add or customize our default breakpoints in MUI, we just head over to our theme.ts file, and inside that, above the theme object, we declare module at MUI slash material slash styles here, and we open the curly brackets here and inside that we create an interface called breakpoint overrides here and we again open the curly brackets here with this way we can tell the type of script that what breakpoints we want to use and which one we don't want and also we can add additional breakpoints here how to do that as we talked about we have by default only five breakpoints in MUI but I want to add for example mobile or tablet and I also may want to remove this or this from the default breakpoints Inside the interface, for example, I don't want the extra small breakpoint here, so I put false in front of it. Also, I don't want SM breakpoint. I do want the MD, so I put true in front of it, and also I want LG here, but I don't want XL or extra large screen sizes here, so I put false in front of it. And I also want to add a few more breakpoints. For example, I want to add mobile and then tablet here. With this way, the TypeScript knows that which breakpoints we want to use and which one we don't want. But here, we didn't specify the value for these breakpoints here. We only told the TypeScript that we want this breakpoint. But we didn't specify the value for these breakpoints here. To do that, inside our theme object, we create a new value called breakpoints here. We open, then inside that, we put values here. Then inside this, we need to specify the values for the breakpoints that we want to use. For example, I want the mobile be 320 pixels, tablet be 480, MDB 700, and then the largest screens be 1024. Now with these breakpoints here, we can easily make our desire responsive based on different breakpoints that we just specified here. To do this, we need to override the default settings of our theme here that we just specified here. If we load the theme, we use an if statement to see whether if the theme.components exists. We are using we are using the conditional narrowing in TypeScript because if we don't, we will get an error. You will see. And if we open up the curly braces here, then inside the theme dot components dot for example i want to modify the button components by default mui button and also you can use other components like x field or i don't know mui table and your table body and so on i want to modify the mui button here if we hit control and space here we can see the options that we have here we want to override our styles so we choose this then we open the braces again inside that again we press control and space on vs code we can see that for example we have multiple variants for buttons in material UI. we have contained we have outlined and also we have only text button and each one of them has different colors for example we can only change the button that its variant is text and then its color is error for example, we can change that specific button type. But how to modify all the buttons together at once? We use root. This applies to all types of buttons and colors in your project. For all my buttons, I want to use white space. I don't want my button to become two or three or multiple lines when the space is not enough. And to make our button responsive based on different breakpoints that we just specified here, we can open the brackets here, theme that breakpoints, these are these breakpoints and these are the options that I have here. It's pretty self-explanatory. For example, I want to say below in mobile with below the 320 pixel, I can use different style. For demonstration, I use color F9 86 sign here. I want to add another breakpoint here, breakpoint style. For example, I want to say between mobile and tablet devices. I want to change the color to pink and another breakpoint here let me just scroll down a little bit theme dot breakpoints dot up for the screen size is bigger than tablet bigger than the 480 pixels i want to change the color to orange if you check our application now you can see that below the mobile size below 320 pixel our button color is yellow between mobile and tablet between 320 
and 480 are button is pink and above the tablet the 480 our button becomes orange here in my opinion this is a great way to make your design responsive in material ui because it's global and, and it will apply for every components that you specify in this theme file here for more flexibility you may want to change a specific button different a specific breakpoint how to do that because with this way we apply these settings to all components here in our project but if you want to make it more specific let me just refactor the code a little bit i create a file called component called buttons.tsx here and i export default function buttons from it inside that i will return the button from here and we paste it the buttons component that i just created i put it inside the div here then i will import it from material ui then in my page component so i import the buttons component that i just created I remove this import from here for example you want to create another button here i call it button 2 and i will uncomment this to do that use a six property here and i want to change the color of this button for mobile to white and for tablet into orange this code here tells the project that we want above the mobile screen size our button color be white and above tablet size we want our button color be orange for you to see better we specify that above mobile button to be white and above tablet it will become our as you can see here below the mobile size because we didn't apply any specific customization to it it will inherit from this global thing here because we are at the moment we are below the 320 pixel then it inherits from this customization here but when we reach the mobile because we specify that above mobile size it must be white and above the tablet i expect it to become orange this is the most simple way that you can customize a specific button in material ui but what if you want more control over the customization we have a third way for you to see better i will comment these buttons here and i will create a new button called button 3 we use the sx property here we provide our theme here we import it from the app slash theme slash theme here inside it we provide the customization that we want for example i want to say by default this button font size be 0.5 rem but i want to change this button font size above the mobile screen size to be 0.7 rem and above the tablet screen size it becomes 0.9 rem this is the exact syntax that we just used in our default theme object but it's specific to this button only to check it for you to see our project just broke because because we cannot do this in a server component because in next.js the components are server components by default so we need to use a directive a use client directive here and if you do that a problem should be solved for refer refresh the project you can see our button is here you can see let me just increase the font size for you to see better as you can see the font size will change according to different screen sizes and this is another way but we should know that you can only use this in client components not server components this was the third way that we can make our design responsive by breakpoints in MUI and there is another way which can be useful in certain situations I only I comment this button I create another button called button for here I'm gonna use media query from material UI how to do that for example I want to see that if my screen size is bigger than medium do that I create a cons called for example is above medium here and I will use media query I import it from material Real UI library and inside it I provide this theme dot breakpoints dot up and inside it for example I want to use the MDS screen size this will return a boolean a true false value if this query is true or not it may have many use cases for example if you want to show different content different components based on different screen sizes for it for you to see I want to change the content inside this button based on the value that we just create so I'm going to use the is above medium variable here if it is true i'm gonna return a span that our screen size is bigger than medium bigger 
that medium but if the escape resource is below medium i'm gonna return a span i'm gonna return a span and inside it i'm gonna use a folder yeah. here just make this medium to md to fit and if i check the project as you can see when the screen is smaller than empty smaller than 700 you can see it says that it's smaller than empty and if it gets bigger than it it will show a different message here and that's it that was the four ways that you can make your design responsive in material ui you can find the link to this project in the description below if you find this tutorial helpful please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps my career on youtube to continue so don't forget to like and subscribe see you